Welcome back to another episode of Daily Life with Paul. I'm your host, Paul. Oh, shit. Yo, you good? Oh, oh. All right, this is the last time I'm finna do it. Let's try a different tactic. God damn. Fuck. I found some rocks over here. Okay, I feel like there's too much air in it, providing like a cushion for it, so I'm gonna fill it up. She looks like only like halfway. Now she do be all the way fill up. Can't even hear it. Launching in three, two. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh-oh. I have attracted a worthy foe. Oh, I guess that he does doth not want the goddamn smoke. Oh, fuck. Run the jewels, run the jewels, run the jewels. Give me your money, give me your money. He claims that he doesn't have any money. So now you must die. Should have bought my gun to make it a little bit more realistic. Today I went back to Russell Westbrook in Van Nuys and I serviced my truck with an oil change and they have to like re rotate the tires. They take like the front one, put it into the back and then the back one and then put it into the front. And I was a little bit shook in realizing that it was gonna be $153 because the last time that I did it, I don't remember paying all of that money for the servicing on my truck, but I was thinking back to like when I had like a 1996 Honda Civic, bitch only cost $20 for an oil change at Walmart and it also cost only like $40 to fill up. But now my truck costs a freaking hundred dollars to fill up and a hundred and fifty three dollars. I put it on credit because like I have like a credit card. It's like from Capital One and Capital One's the people who bought the truck. And then like they say, oh, you can have this credit card. And I've been using it hundred percent for the gas. You know, I use ninety dollars and then ninety dollars in like one month. And that's um, $180 and then that's 30% of the allotted amount because my credit card is a $600 limit. And you're only supposed to use 30% of your um, limit and I've only been using it for gas. But um, this time around, I, I put it on credit um, because it, it had to do with the vehicle and like the maintenance for the vehicle. And then after that, I used uh, 20, I put $26 and then 28 cents into uh the truck on credit for the gas because that was that equals a hundred and um eighty dollars uh so that's my limit for the month and of course i could use my credit card the full amount for 600 but credit card companies they don't want you to do that with every single credit card doesn't matter if it's capital one or curacao or walmart or bank of america or chase bank it doesn't matter uh all credit cards you're only supposed to use 30 percent of your allotted amount while i was waiting for them to like um service my vehicle i took my electric scooter with me i still have the electric scooter and um it's in van nuys and van nuys is basically where like i started here in los angeles um because like that's where the courthouse is you know because i started at logan paul's house and then i got arrested and then like they let me out into the streets um, after um, my jail time and then um, I was like sitting in front of the courthouse and um, I, I took a nap on like this like this big concrete circle thing that they have out in in the courthouse and that's where I used to sleep when I was uh, homeless and I had like my duffel bag with me and I was like sleeping there and I had my electric scooter and I had my you know big ass freaking truck and like I'm up 
like you know like um it's not like i'm up or anything but it's like uh i i got on to my feet with by me doing it you know like i fucking live in los angeles and i have my own apartment and it's not like a government housing apartment it's like a normal ass apartment i have like a badass job i can't tell you guys too much about it but um i eventually will start to like you know tell tell you things that i can share because like obviously like with my, my um job it's like uh, it really has to do with a lot of uh confidentiality and like things that like go by and like you know months and months pass by like maybe i could tell you something but i really have to write it down first and then think about it and say yeah no nah, i can't really show that but um i was like sitting there or i was like laying there and then after that like i took the the scooter and i parked it right in front of the cart courthouse and people were like going in and out and in and out and um this black lady with really nice tits and like fat ass she looked at me and she said you got a cute face <laughs> and she was like, I'm gonna, she was like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and then she said to herself she's like wait that sounded wrong <laughs> i started busting out laughing but i was like thank you you have a you have a wonderful day and she said you too and she like fucking dropped that on me and that made me feel good because like it was like two whole ass hours because i didn't make an appointment for the oil change because it's like you have to order it three weeks in advance you know if like i'm going in for an oil change it has to be three weeks prior to when i'm bringing it in um so like if you don't want to do that you can just get in line and then i put it in line it automatically went straight back to the um service bay but you know still took like two hours so i took my scooter and then i drove it all the way up to walmart to where i put my you know paul frazier on youtube um posters and like it was like really it was like really nostalgic of like i could never have ever imagined that i was going to be self-sustaining living in los angeles like i thought los angeles was the city that i was just gonna die in you know like you know because like when you're homeless and you're living on the street it's just like it's almost like a pencil and eraser and then like you're just like erasing yourself and like you just and i thought i was just gonna basically erase you know be be erased um until the point where like maybe i didn't have enough um food or if i was gonna get to the point where i got on drugs because it was so tempting you know like because like i'm hanging out with like people on the streets and people on the street do like methamphetamine and heroin and like i got offered and no one ever like pushed it, like hey man you know fucking do you want to you know um do some poker or some shit like that but it was so tempting especially like when it's like so painful because it's so cold outside and like and like everything in my life is just literally burnt to the ground it's like it's just like in that moment it's just like it would have been so fun to um you know just take like a hit of like meth you know because like it was like my friend and then like this other guy who sold the meth he was like a gay black older gentleman who apparently makes films um, and like they were like sitting there smoking like um like do you want some i don't know i don't give a fucking um you know but it's like they're not doing that to be like hey you got to be part of us like you know like a lot of cool people like hey you have to you have to do this stuff it's like they're just kind of like you know like hey man if you want the pain to go away for a little bit you know like we're just offering this to you you know that's how it felt it was actually kind of loving <sighs> so with all of that said that's why i still feel that i can be a mega star like I'm talking like a, a like a, a real celebrity, not like one of these like fake celebrities. Like like an example like a, like Alex Wasabi, um like it's like he's got a fuck ton of subscribers and stuff like that. But it's just like when you like look behind the gate, it's like even like Logan Paul, a person who I really look up to, it's like he's not really like um like he's up there of course, but it's like he's not like a real celebrity. When I think of like a real celebrity, I think of like Michael Jackson. Like that was a real celebrity where you literally have like 200,000 people screaming at the top of their lungs and they're all here for you because you can provide them with something. You know, so so like every single time that someone says, oh no, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Let all that go, let it all. It's like, I literally have nothing left. I really should be dead. 
Like I really should be dead and I'm not. So therefore I'm just gonna keep pushing for the mountain. And um, I guess I will see you guys next week. These videos are coming out pretty nice. Uh, it's a little difficult, I'm not gonna lie, because I, you know, I only have like a few hours per week to come out here and make a video. <sighs> what, like probably five now. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned everything. Bye. Go ahead, nigga. I can't wait no time on the go ahead, nigga. Bro, call me a bad count.